Hi, friends. Welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here for a meditation a day. Our beautiful guest meditator today is Marbeth Dunn, and she has been with us here at Enlightened World Network for three years now. So excited to have her with us today. Marbeth, thank you for being here. It's always my pleasure to be here. Three years. Wow. That's uh, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Absolutely. And today your meditation is, is, is about extending love and peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Well, can't wait. And you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. So why don't we sit up straight and tuck in the chin. And let's breathe deeply into the lower belly. Following the breath in your mind's eye, and then following it out again through the nostrils, inhaling all the way down, following the breath, being very present with your breath, and then following it all the way out again through your nostrils one more time, inhaling all the way down, and then moving back up again out through the nostrils. And let's bring our awareness to our heart center, that beautiful place, our heart chakra, where we connect with our divinity. And let's build love in the heart. Think about something or someone you love dearly. Feel the love well up within you. And it may be a pet. It may be the image of you as a baby, just pure and innocent. And just surround it with love. Surround that image of you or whatever you choose with love. Let that love just fill up your heart. Just fill up your heart and intensify that feeling. That love is so pure. Just feel it filling up your heart space until it feels almost ready to burst with love. And now let that love extend throughout your whole being, throughout your physical form, and out into your auric field. That love is just filling you up and intensifying that beautiful feeling of love. And let's move into appreciation. Let's appreciate the fact that we are sitting here meditating on love and on peace. And we are going to extend that beautiful feeling of love and peace out to our beautiful brothers and sisters on our planet. But first, we're going to extend the appreciation that we have for ourselves, for our creator, for our heavenly helpers, all of the angelic realm, our masters, teachers, and guides, all of our brothers and sisters, we are all one beautiful self. And just let your appreciation fill you up. Wow, beautiful. And now let's go into gratitude because we are elevating. And these are the beautiful ways that we can elevate by focusing now on gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Let your thoughts of gratitude fill you up along with the love and the appreciation. We have so much, I have so much gratitude for you being here with me. I have so much gratitude for Ruth, this beautiful, beautiful soul who has dedicated her life to enlightening humanity. So much gratitude. Just let that gratitude fill you up. And now we're ready. Now we can extend that love and peace 
and gratitude out. Let's start with our creator. We send love and peace and gratitude and appreciation up to our creator. And feel it coming back. Feel it. Let yourself receive it as it comes back because it magnifies what you're feeling. We extend it to spirit, to all of our angels, archangels, and feel it coming back, filling you up even more. We're extending love. We're extending it to our masters and teachers and guides. Just notice how you are expanding as you're extending this love. We extend it to all of our loved ones who've passed and feeling so much gratitude that they graced us with our, in our lives. We're extending so much love and peace and gratitude and appreciation to all of our brothers and sisters on this planet. We are all one in awareness. Feel that, feel that oneness. Feel the gratitude and appreciation that we are all one, that there is no separation. We are all one beautiful self. and extend it throughout the whole planet, our beautiful planet Earth, out throughout the whole universe and beyond. And just feel it reverberating, love and peace, appreciation, gratitude welling up from within you, extending out beyond the universe. It's who you are, it's who we all are. And when you're ready, come back very gently, back very gently into the physical form. Let your fingers and toes wiggle. Yeah. Just come back and bring that with you, that beautiful feeling of love and peace, appreciation and gratitude. Hmm. That was delicious, Marbeth. That was hard to come back from. Oh, I know. I was, I never know where they're going to go. And it was just like, oh, this is good. This is yummy. <laughs> It really was. That delicious was the best word I could come up with there. So. <laughs> so you have the words 10 million for world peace behind you. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, yes. I'm so excited that you asked me. In uh, 2018, I was guided one morning I woke up and I was told that I was going to have a peace experiment, that we were going to be gathering people to meditate for world peace. And we did for six months. It was the World Miracle Peace Experiment. And we focused on the Middle East because I knew that I could find independent statistics that had nothing to do with me that could measure the level of violence. And we could just see what the effect would be of people meditating together, coming together in the field of love and peace and miracles and focus it on the Middle East. So we did that. And truthfully, at our, our largest meditations, I, I would be surprised if we had 200 people, but it's hard to know when you're on Facebook Live. You don't know. And, but I mean, that would have been, I think, a generous guess. But during the period of that meditation, the level of violence in the Middle East dropped over 20%. Is there a correlation? I'd like to think there is. And I was recently 
inspired. I've tried to do the, replicate that experiment, but I kept getting blocked energetically. It wasn't the right time. But this time I was <laughs> guided to do 10 million for world peace. Now that's huge. And so we all know Terry Angel from Enlightened World Network. So she and Maureen Whitehouse, who you will be meeting on Enlightened World Network, have, we have joined together. We've created a nonprofit, a 501c3, 10 million for World Peace, Inc. And uh, we are going to have a meditation that focuses on world leaders. World leaders, we're going to focus on the few that have enormous power to generate peace. And we have, you saw what happened when there was just maybe 50 to at the outmost uh, 200 people meditating daily, seven minutes for world peace, focusing on the Middle East. This is, this is 10 million people. This is huge. I know we're going to make a huge impact. So I'm very excited about this. And um, I, if you want to join me, I'm in the process right now of transforming our World Miracle Peace Experiment Facebook group over to 10 million for world peace. So I'm not sure where it's going to be um, when, you, when you watch this meditation, but please join us because this is going to be amazing and we'll have the power to create world peace. I truly believe it. Thanks, Marpa. That's great. So probably in a couple of days, folks can go in Facebook to 10 million for world peace and Perfect. join that group. So, yeah, wait a couple of days, friends. So, Marbeth, the folks want to know more about you and your work. How do they find you? Um, yourmiraclepower.com. You can, um, I have a, a little book, seven, seven Easy Steps to Harness the Power of Miracles. And that way, when you sign up, you'll learn more about our 10 million for world peace. Excellent. Keep you in the loop. That's great. And we do want to be in the loop, Marbeth, here at Enlightened World Network. Just keep us informed. We'll put information in our newsletters and make sure that we're sharing that out. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Ruth. Sure. So friends here at Enlightened World Network, thank you so much for being here. We all hold this same vision of world peace. So thank you. Thank you for your time and your energy here. And Marbeth, thank you. So much appreciation to you. Thank you, Ruth.